The Earth is in peril and is on the verge of depleting some of its most important resources. An astronaut is given an ultimatum. Either A, stay on Earth and die with loved ones, or B, leave Earth to go on a mission to outer space to save mankind. The main character chooses B. Although the hero is miles away from the people he or she cares about, they have these Skype monitors that all the astronauts use to see loved ones, so it's almost like they've never left. The team spends years up there and have no success in finding an alternative resource channel for the people on Earth. Running low on fuel, they have only three more chances or they'll die, and so will the people on Earth. And we only have enough fuel for three more firings. We no longer have the fuel to visit both prospects, so... Meanwhile, things get apocalyptic on Earth. Most of the people die, and the survivors that don't would trade places with the dead people in a second if you gave them the opportunity. Communication has gone cold, and it's been a while since the astronaut's family has heard a word from the main character. The dead signal is because the astronauts don't have service ever since the crew crossed the gateway to another world. The awkward part is that Earth trusted the astronauts to save the world when they can't even save themselves. They start dying like Samuel L. Jackson in Samuel L. Jackson movies. The crew turns on one another and it's every man for himself. Things calm down and they end up finding a surviving member from another crew. The crew member is a villain and can't be trusted. As soon as the bad guy wakes up, he or she starts thinking of ways to be the only survivor. The signs are obvious but the main astronaut misses them because he or she isn't thinking straight and is only focused on getting back to his or her children back on Earth. The evil teammate starts taking out the crew one by one. And when the main astronaut and the bad guy battle, it gets personal because the main character's kids are bought into the equation. Do you see your children? They're right there with you. The bad guy takes control of the ship, but the plan backfires and the villain's sent floating in outer space. Outer space is a dangerous place to be, and that's why the crew is terrified when they may suffer the same fate. The space station is damaged, and the only way to fix it is to go through this manual process. If the crew doesn't fix it, they're gonna die. The leader of the team sacrifices himself to save his female co-worker, which proves chivalry isn't dead. When the dust settles from all the casualties, there's only two human surviving members of the crew. The team transmits the data they've learned in space back to Earth with hopes that it could help the brilliant minds down there to save the people. If I can find a way to transmit the quantum data I'll find in there, they might still make it. Copy all our data from the Shepherd and take it home. This should eventually help your planet. The main character's loved one is inspired by the astronaut and tries to make a difference during the apocalypse. A little kid is about to die, and the loved one does everything in his or her power to save the child. Meanwhile, up in outer space, the last two astronauts enter escape pods. The main character travels back home, and home looks a little like they remember, but a lot has changed. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below, and click the subscribe button for more 24 Reason videos. <gasps>